Hello everyone, how are you today? So I'm Simarjit again. So in the last video, I discussed about the uh, endocrine system, uh, about the anterior posterior gland. So today I'm going for diagnostic test for the endocrine glands. So um, in that uh, system, like whatever I'm uh, teaching to you is from the Saunder book and uh, that's for the NCLEX. So from the NCLEX uh, view uh, of the exam, I'm just teaching you everything. So in this uh, firstly diagnostic test, we are going for the stimulation and suppression test. So in this firstly st stimulation test. So stimulation test, uh, we are going for the, if there is a suppression of the activity of the endocrine gland. So there is an under activity of the thyroid, uh, endocrine gland. So then we are going for the stimulation test. So stimulation test, we just uh, giving some hormone for stimulation the endocrine gland. If still there is no stimulation, it means hyperfunction. So in this, uh, so next one is suppression test. So if there is a uh, overactivity of the thyroid endocrine glands, uh, and in endocrine gland we know there is a thyroid pituitary gland also included. So in suppression test we just uh, uh, giving some uh, agents for suppressing the endocrine gland. If there is a, if there is still there is no suppression, it means hyper function of the uh, uh, endocrine glands. So next is overnight dexamethasone uh, suppression test. So in this we are uh, dexamethasone is a corticosteroid we giving uh, at uh, night. So in the morning there should be cortisol level should be suppressed. If there is no suppression of the cortisol level, it means there is a increase cortisol level and it means there is Cushing disease. So we can dis distinguish the Cushing disease by helping of this test. So next is radioactive iodine uptake. So in this way, just providing to patient like a uh, very uh, little amount of radioactive iodine for the uh, to just see the absorption of the radioactive iodine in the bodies, like how the thyroid uh, uh, gland is functioning. So if there is a uh, like a high level of still there is a radioactivity high level, then it means hyperthyroidism. If there is low level, then it means the hypothyroidism. Then T3, T4 uh, uh, reason uptake test, if uh, there is a hyper or hypothyroidism, doctor always recommend for the, go for the T3 and T4 test. So in this, they can recognize there is a hyper or hypothyroidism. So next is thyroid stimulating hormone. This hormone stimulates the thyroid gland to produce the T3, T4. So if there is a low thyroid stimulating hormone, it means there is a high, uh, hyperthyroidism. If there is a high thyroid stimulating hormone, it means there is a hypothyroidism. So next is thyroid scan. Thyroid scan is for the nodules and uh, if there is any overgrowth of the thyroid tissue. So we are going for the thyroid scan. So there is always there is an NCLEX uh, question like uh, um, like which scan is contraindication uh, like uh, in uh, pregnancy. So thyroid scan is contraindicated in uh, pregnancy if there is any scan that will be contraindicated in pregnancy. Why? Because there can be radiation harm to the bo uh, baby in the womb because it can cause the malfunction in the developing uh, baby or fetus in the womb. The next is the needle aspiration of thyroid tissue. So in this we aspirate the uh, thyroid tissue for the any cytological study. So uh, in this uh, why there is also question like uh, in after uh, aspiration of the thyroid why we put the pressure to prevent the bleeding. This is the answer of the question. Next is glycosylator hemoglobin test. In this uh, the uh, hemoglobin is bound to the uh, um, in this uh, in glycoside hemoglobin the glucose is bound to the hemoglobin so it, it also like uh, three to four months uh, it uh, it can recognize like how much a blood glucose level elevated so if there is elevated uh, blood glucose level it will be also elevated the glycosylator hemoglobin will be also elevated 24 hour urine collection uh, test for the vinyl metallic acid. This is for the catecholamines. So, um, like epinephrine and norepinephrine. So, vinyl metallic acid is a metabolite of the catecholamine. If it's uh, high, then there will be also uh, like uh, catecholamine will be present. Like uh, catecholamines means epinephrine and norepinephrine. So, these are all about the diagnostic tests for the endocrine gland. So, uh, please like and subscribe my channel and see you in the next video. Thank you.